What's up guys, Tim Little, JD Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we're doing some fall bass fishing for you. You're gonna be chasing some reaction fish, hopefully catch them on a reaction, might have to downsize, slow down, do some finesse, but should be a good one. Let's go. All right, guys, so we ran to our first spot and uh, didn't get bit, didn't see a fish. So like we've been talking about in our recent fall transition fall videos, make sure that you're covering water. So it's easy to slow down and pick an area apart this time of the year, but uh, you're better off covering water and trying to find those active fish. No, no need to force feed a bite. Now, if you run through your five or six best starting spots and then nothing but you're seeing fish on on your electronics then you can slow down but until you get that to that that part of the day make sure you're covering water and checking different styles of fishing shallow deep wood rock windblown points main lake points all that sort of stuff to really see where these fish are in that transition We are on the board. Good job, Judy. This dude has. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nice little spot on the underspin. Good job, dude. This guy's got uh, all sorts of sores on him. Let's work with. Just covering water. This is our third stop. Again, just trying to find active fish. I uh, saw those fish actually on side imaging, turned around, I've just been fan casting. As we were idling out, I saw them, waypointed them, spun around. They disappeared, but uh, we know there's like five or six of them out here, so let's keep going. Pass the log, bring it over. Make sure you sit right on the log, dude. Feisty spot. <laughs> Ooh, this one's nasty too. Found a nasty school. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. These fish have like something all over their head. Body. Thanks, bud. That one ate the old free rig. Slowing down, fishing some wood. I wonder what's all over these fish. Oh, 
reel it back, and then drop it. Spicy spot. Good old spotted bass. No, 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 no. At least this one's all not all beat up. Pretty fish. Thanks, bud. So much fun on BFS. Just throwing that little, uh, that's that X Zone Adrenaline Craw Jr. on a free rig. They like it. That's what I call a BFS perch. I got him on the little Kitek. He's pretty. Thanks, Mike. Nice one, dude. Largey. Nice work. You want to touch your fish? Yeah. <laughs> All right, don't. There. All right, good. Thanks, dude. Re rig your bait. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, on to our fourth spot uh, catching fish, trying to catch some bigger fish. We're going to throw some bigger swim baits and uh, just. JD's going to follow behind me throwing either a jig or some kind of uh, a flipping or pitching bait. But uh, just going to cover water. We tried that uh, shallow stuff, caught some fish, and uh, now we're going to try some deeper lay downs and see if we can find some fish to spin it up in these treetops. Another nice spot, Spaz. Thanks, dude. These spots, man, they fight and hit so hard. Pound for pound. I mean, it's between them and smallmouth. Largemouth are like whatever, but spots and smallies. Thanks, dude. Hit and fight so hard. So we ran that last area 
Uh, I was throwing a swim bait. JD was throwing a swim bait. I had two bites. Just little like pound and a half spots. Uh, just coming up and, and bashing the side of the swim bait. Um, nothing, nothing substantial. So we ran that for a little while and then came back over here and uh main pattern today is just fishing the deeper edges around around brush hold, holding the fish so Let's see if we can come across a, a big largemouth Get him? Nice. Oh, good one. Don't horse him. Good boy. Nice. Nice fish. Keep him up. Keep him up. Keep him up. Rod tip up. Come up. It's a nice spot, dude. Nice spot. Bring him over here. Here. Ready? Yep. Oh. Nice one, dude. <laughs> Big old spot. Come here. Oh, that dude. Nice work, dude. It's like a, it's close to a four pound spot. <laughs> I get the assist on that one, by the way. Okay. He took my rod because his had a nick in it. So I'm retying his rod. I dropped the Raptors. I'm like, hey, throw this spot over here. <laughs> nice work, dude. Fish. Oh, good. Good one. You got one though. Another fatty spot. <laughs> Good job, Dad. So, that one ate that little weighted wacky rig Sanko. <laughs> Pretty fish. Try to block out that sun. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, bud. All right, guys, so tip on this. This is something I learned several years ago. Um, I'm not sure why it works, but it works. So piece of, uh, piece of cover, big log out here. JD threw the top water over it, threw the free rig on it. I threw multiple casts with the Senko, working it fairly quick. Light bulb went off, like, I've seen this work before. Throw the Senko out. Actually, I skipped it up in there and let it sit. I didn't touch that thing for probably at least 30 seconds. Okay? 
Nothing, 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 nothing. Not moving at all. Twitch, twitch. Doop. For whatever reason, sometimes those fish won't commit the first, second, or third cast, whatever. They want that thing down there. They're looking at it. It's not moving. The rings have dispersed from your cast. You know, it could be a minute. You know, I've, I've had this happen where I didn't touch the bait for almost two minutes. That first little toop, toop, they eat it. We were catching five pound smallmouth underneath docks. They were way up, super shallow. But again, don't be in a rush throwing your finesse baits. You know, in this case, it's a Senko. It could be a, a shaky head or even a, you know, a creature bait on a free rig. But literally, skip that thing up there and I had to tell myself, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, it's been long enough. Doop, doop, doop. There it was. That fish was on there the whole time. Did not eat the other two presentations. It was it was presented, but it liked that, that long, exaggerated weight on the Senko. So think about that next time you're fishing your favorite dock or brush pile. It works. See if I can get it off. See if I can get it off. Yeah, I'm going to get it off. Come on, that's right. Oh, this is the light line one? Yeah. Oh, that's a fish. It is? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Can I fight him? That fish took you off. <laughs> he rubbed me in the tree? <laughs> he handed it to me because he was snagged. As I'm pulling tight on it, I got bit. That bass took me off of the bait, off the snag. Let's see. I got it. That's a win-win. You catch a bass. Thanks, dude. Catch a bass and gets you unhung. Pretty good. <laughs> nice Can't work. do better than that. Line. All right, good show the camera. Oh. Nice large out mouth, dude. Tell him how you caught him. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so basically, I'm taking this free rig and I'm flipping to the edge of these trees. You try to get as close as you can, and you gotta shake it, kind of like a Senko almost, but you pull it up and down, and you'll feel, sometimes you'll feel them just hit it. Sometimes they won't try to eat it, they'll try to just kill it. And then a lot of times you'll just feel them start pulling it because they have the bait. Moral of the story, just cast where dad tells you to cast. Yeah, that works too. Good job, bud. Did he hit it in the tree or outside the tree? Outside the tree. He hit it as I was started lifting it up. No, no. Grab the grab the bend in the hook and just turn your grab a flyer now. Just roll your wrist. Roll it clockwise. Pop right out. So it's definitely been. Need help with that, dude? Yeah. Right. It's definitely been a finesse day. I've thrown and thrown and thrown. So grab this and just rotate this way. Okay. Nice one. Uh, the big bait, swim bait, mag draft, and just had a couple little spots just go and bang it. Um, kind of force feeding them, trying to throw the top water, trying to throw different reaction baits and it keeps coming back to the little creature bait 
and uh, the Senko really is what's has been the producer for us today. Yep. Uh, even even the underspin bite hasn't been great, no, but uh, two on the underspin. That's it. But what JD was saying was this free rig. What's nice about it, you can throw it right in, right in the thick stuff because it is weedless. You know, you throw it in there, the weight goes down first, then that bait, especially this uh, adrenaline craw, has a ton of action. So it, it has a resistance as it falls and it really slows that fall. So you can throw it right along the edge of that bushy branches or, or brush piles, whatever it is, let that weight fall. And then this just swims down and uh, he's been picking them off with this all day. So it's really easy if you're a beginner, if you're advanced, if you're new to fishing, or you know you have kids in the boat the free rig rigged with that adrenaline craw is uh it's pretty easy to fish right yeah yeah you like it yeah it's fun all right you know, bait yeah, when we get, when we get past, put back into it yeah. yep no 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 wait you have plenty of time to cast that give yourself a good angle and then cast back in the shade between those branches okay. don't be in a rush get the best cast possible i think that could be better actual casting not put them okay Why don't we Good. Perfect. Now you fill two branches with one cast. Sit. I saw that fish. I know. I'm like, that's a little guy. Monster. So, what did you learn about that cast? Don't rush your cast. Pick your angles, right? You get to fish two branches with one cast. Got another one on the free rig. Need help? No. No, 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 no. Remember, like I said, no, stop. Grab the bend of the hook and rotate. That's all you gotta do. Thanks, bud. All right, guys, going to wrap it up here. Uh, an awesome day out of the water, but uh, it's dinner time. Yeah. And uh, But we had a great time out on the water. You know, the last few videos we've been talking about, like the fall transition, fall fishing. We've really been emphasizing uh, moving around, fishing fast, covering water, and trying to establish those patterns. Uh, and today we tried that. And uh, we had to keep coming back to the same thing, the kind of the shallower fish uh, on on hard cover. You know, we tried the the underspins and swim baits out deep. We tried, uh, you know, breaks. We tried uh, all sorts of stuff, but we kept coming back to fishing slow. You know, basically the majority of our fish were caught on a, a little creature bait, on a free rig, and a. a uh, uh, a Senko, you know, a wacky rig Senko. And even that we had to fish fairly slow. You know, we did catch some fish early on, on um, some underspins, yeah, little tactical, the little mini underspin on a 2.8 and a 3.3. I'll probably cut out a lot of the different perch and stuff we caught. We caught a bunch of perch on like blade baits and that sort of stuff. But again, we kept covering water, kept trying new things, making sure that we weren't missing something. And today was just one of those days where the finesse was king you know he did so much damage um fishing that free rig and and he learned quite a bit today you know we spend a lot of time now that he's back in school and stuff we don't get to spend a lot of time out fishing so when we do you know i'm always emphasizing certain things what are some of the things you learned today um i learned that you have to be very not picky but you have to be precise with uh where you want to cast and wait for the perfect spot to get your cast in yeah, so a lot of the shoreline that, good job, a lot of the shoreline that we are fishing today, there's a lot of lay downs and branches and that sort of stuff. And a lot of times we get overzealous and we, we get eager to really make that cast. But if you really look at it and, and find that cast angle where you can maximize uh, your, your, your effective fishing area, the yeah. better, right? So if you're fishing in front of a tree, wait till you come around the backside, then you can throw between the branches and really, so we worked on a lot of that stuff, just a lot of teaching stuff today. But, um, but again, it was a, a great day. 
caught uh, <laughs> he caught big fish of the day. That awesome spot, uh, that right fun. right around four pounds or so. Um, you know, I got the assist on it, but honestly, I would much rather him catch it than than myself. So nice work on that. Um, caught a few other nice fish. Caught a few nice largemouth. Um, we had another good spot. Another good spot. Again, that 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 key tri uh, tip on throwing your your wacky rig stick bait out, Senko, and just letting it sit there. Don't even move it. And in my mind, what happens is you throw that bait in there. It falls. It does its you know it falls down right like like the Senko does. It's magical. And then those fish just kind of swim over. They get more and more and curious, and they're sitting there staring at it. They're talking to their buddies like, what's that or whatever, and it's just not moving. You know, you wait your 20, 30, 40, 5, 60 seconds, and then twitch, and then it's like, game on. They're like, oh, go, and they just eat it. It's it's the coolest thing. So if you, if you are a, a stick bait fisherman, a, a Senko fisherman, add that to your repertoire because uh, it uh, it definitely, definitely works. But guys, uh, we appreciate you coming along with us. It was, uh, it was one of those days where we tried a lot of different things and only just a couple things worked. But down below in the video description, we'll link all the products, the colors and all that stuff, the baits that uh, we caught the fish on. But uh, all in all, a great day. Good yeah, job, bud. Fun. Um, yeah. Love getting out on the water with him. Hopefully uh, you guys get out on the water with uh, with your loved ones. Uh, be patient, you know, be kind. It's it's hard, it, it really is. Uh, but uh, but we spend a lot of time and, and, and it's so much fun out here. So guys, if you like this type of video, give us a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.